We are answering your stimulus and your tax-related questions. Mark Hensley, the Associate State Director for AARP North Carolina, the Triad Region, and Kevin Robinson from Robinson Tax and Accounting Services, they are back with us. Don't forget, Tax Day is April, April, July 15th. We're so used to saying April, but it is July 15th, which means that is next Wednesday, so you have less than a week to get your taxes done. Uh, someone is asking, Mark, um, what could be the reason I received $900 in stimulus when everyone else I know got $1,200? There's a simple answer. Um, if your adjusted gross income is over $75,000 as an individual, incrementally your stimulus payment will go down, down, down. So short answer is you make too much money to get the full amount, but you're getting something. Mm -hmm. um, so Kevin, someone said, I used the low income assistance program to file my taxes last year. Due to coronavirus, they shut down before my appointment. Is there any other kind of help available? I'm thinking, Tanya, a lot of that's you know, available online. And even I would check some of the online, even through the IRS and um, some of those uh, download tax uh, software that can be online for low assistance like that. Uh, I know a few people have not been able to go into those places, as mentioned with COVID-19, but a lot of that I think could be found online and they could file online or, or maybe get um, one of family member that's, you know, uh, good with computers to help them to get online if they don't have a computer. Yeah, there is low income assistance like free e-filing on the IRS website and it will kind of walk you through whether you want to use TurboTax or H&R Block or whatever it is. They're offering that software for you for free on the IRS website. Um, okay, someone is asking, if my wife and I receive Social Security, um, will we still receive a stimulus check also? Yes, I'm very proud that AARP advocated at the national level for Congress to include people on Social Security. We know that they are the most vulnerable with a fixed income. We were asking them to buy up extra medicine, food and supplies, and so now they, they are some of the first recipients of a stimulus payment. If they've not received it yet, go to irs.gov and check your status. Mm -hmm. um, this person is asking, do people in prison or jail qualify for a stimulus check? And this is kind of a tricky question to answer. So Kevin, we can pitch hit on this one. Mm -hmm. um, remember the IRS is going on what your status was in 2018. If right. you were not incarcerated, your family could have easily gotten stimulus payment yes, for you yes yes that's true and then of course as you mentioned that uh, they could have gotten incarcerated by the time the check come you know so you know in that case if anybody incarcerated generally doesn't but it could be that their family could get it or something but, but most people yeah but incarceration is not a reason to send it back it does belong to the family exactly exactly well, let's talk about when you do need to send uh, a check back, a stimulus payment back. Um, Kevin, there are specific times when you need to send that that back. Uh, that's a good point, uh, Tanya. Case in point would be if a couple got a $2,400 uh, stimulus payment, married, file, and jointly qualified, but by the time the check come or before the, you know, the top, before the check come, one of the uh, spouses died, then in that case, the 1200 or 2400 becomes really 1200 and so really 1200 would need to go back to the uh, Memphis refund inquiry unit Mark mentioned since that the person died if a person dies afterward uh, it's a little bit different but if they die and before that check comes then there is they need to send that back for that spouse and there has been many of those happening where the a deceased spouse got a stimulus check and so that the IRS will be coming for that eventually. Really quickly, Mark, um, someone's saying, are people older than 70 receiving a stimulus check later for a certain reason? This is all, the deployment of payments is all based on adjusted gross income. We're just now at the point in the calendar where put people at $75,000 adjusted gross income are starting to receive their payments. Okay, and so at that point, then that may be something where we need to check uh, irs.gov for you to see where that is. And again, if you don't get your stimulus payment this time around, you can always use it as a credit for your taxes next year. I know that's not the most popular thing to want to hear that, but at least that is an option to make sure that you get your stimulus money. Thank you both of you for uh, lending us your expertise, lending us your time. Thank you for your questions.